All right, working on a little water cool today. And uh, we're at a point now where uh, there's, there's not really anything major where, where we can do to it. It's all the little bullshit stuff that uh, has to get done. Like this, like I, I pick up a 45 for the, the muffler here. And uh, that'll go like that. So, you see what I mean by it looking a little bit better? So I can actually have it pointing up or pointing to the side or something, but, you know. Pointing just just sitting straight like that you know it just looks too congested and it's actually sitting on top of the gas tank so the 45 is going to help it a lot also the, the egg corn here I got a, a stainless steel or I guess that's chrome uh, I was deciding whether to go with silver or brass and I think I'll go with brass I mean the silver looks good and it goes with the head and goes with some of the other stuff but uh, the brass sort of makes it pop. Let me take this off and show what I mean. I couldn't even get the right thread. You know, I, I was going to Lowe's. It's not like I went to a, a real hardware store. I think his thread is uh, uh, 1036. All I had was uh, 1024s. So I can't put that on there. I'm going to have to re thread that. But uh, I think the brass looks a lot better on top of the, the blue. And it kind of goes along with the yellow there, so I think I'll go with that. But right now, like I say, we're we're sort of a standstill with the, the major uh, stuff. You know, that's all done. You know, that motor's ready to run. So what I have to do is actually uh, today I'm going to make the cart, the sled. I got all wood here. I'm not going to bore you with all that. I mean, you've seen me build them before. But also here, I was going to. Uh, let me put the light on for you there. I'm trying to decide what to do with that, you know. And I've been playing in here. And I've been trying to clean it and dig it out. And it's it actually comes all the way around. And all the way up in top here. And there's, I mean, real gobs of gunk coming out of there. So I don't know what I'm going to get to stick there. I, th I think what I'm going to have to do, if I use solder, it's going to get hot and it's probably going to compromise all the epoxy work I did so I think what I might have to do is uh, I could try epoxy and just fill in the holes there but epoxy's got to, it's got to stick to clean stuff and I can't get it clean so I think what I might do is, is put the plug in thread the plug in and then uh, put a small bead of epoxy around where I can and that'll you know I don't think I'm going to use that for anything because uh, there's going to be the, the fill is going to be over here so I think that's uh, that's how I'm going to do away with that problem. Also, I was trying to uh, straighten out the fins in a radiator. And I do have a radiator comb. And let me put this up here like that so you can see. And uh, you know where the, where the fins are straight, you know, it works. But I guess back then, you know, these fins are a little... A little stiffer and a little tougher than your modern radiators and you know like where they're bent like right here it doesn't do anything it just just goes over them and they they go back where they were so I think what I'm gonna have to do is just get a piece of wood and stick it in there you know the right size piece of wood and, and do each each one of these individually and straighten it out I even tried it up here you know and, and I you know there's some little things that, that make it look better and stuff like that, but most people don't notice it except me, so I don't know what to tell you. And uh, I picked up all the, but it is, uh, we're going we're gonna to run this thing off of sprockets. I picked up a bunch of sprockets here. I got a half inch and five eighths. I think they're 17 tooth. And I think the half inch is a half inch shift here, I think, yeah. Oops, sorry about that. I was looking at, I was looking at the shift. But it is a half inch shaft, it's just a little buggered up there. But anyway, we're going to run the, the radiator and the fan off of that. And it's a little baby chain, it's, uh, I think it's 25 chain. So that's what we're going to do. But we can't do any of this until I, I build the, the cart for it. We also have to clean the shroud up here. It has a few dents in it and stuff, but, you know, clean it up and paint it. 
And also, uh, I got a little fan. I was able to find a little fan for it, and that'll fit right in there. So that these uh, these chains and sprockets are gonna gonna run the fan and the water pump here. So that's where we're at. But like I say, until until I build that uh, display sled, you know, we're uh, we're dead in the water. So I'll work on that. Like I say. You know, some of these, some of these videos are going to be pretty boring, but, uh, you know, some of you guys just like to hear me talk. Oh, you just can't stand hearing me talk, and so, uh, you can't please everybody. But that's where we're at. So, uh, I guess I'll, uh, I'll start building the, the cart. Alright, I'll get back to you if I, if I do anything interesting. Alright, I put the muffler on there, and I, I like to where it's at, push it up like that. And, uh, I also put a lock nut on there, so uh, that should be okay. But now, sorry about that. You know, every time I, I look at something, I move the camera away, but uh, it's uh, just what you gotta put up. This is YouTube, right? Not National Geographic. All right, so now I'm gonna take uh, some of this ultra black Permatex here and rub it inside these uh, bolt holes here because that's the only place you can leak the bolt holes everybody's worrying about this leaking air this leaking air where's that gonna you know that's all I heard about for the last uh, few months about how this thing's gonna leak the only place you can leak is, is through the threads and I probably don't even need this but uh, I'm gonna put it on anyway it's high temperature too alright I'm gonna have to put the camera down and uh, I'm going to put some uh, Primatex on these threads here a little bit and there should be plenty. All right. Yeah, buddy. All right. We're all cut to size here. The sides, the deck, and the doors. I'll have to find a piece of plywood or something so I can make the bottom, but uh, let's bring them inside and uh, cut the handles and that thing. All right. I'm going to lay out the handles now. At the shows, a lot of people always ask me, how do I get the handles so nice? And it's really nothing to it. You know, you just got a, an inside radius and an outside radius. And it depends on how heavy your, your uh, sled's going to be. This one here is, this is the four cylinder, so that's, that's pretty heavy. And uh, we make the handles pretty thick. I guess that's about two inches. But uh, usually on the, on the little sleds, I think I just make them about an inch and a half or so. Even on this little baby engine here, I think that's nice. That's not even an inch. But anyway, inch for this one, I think I'm just going to duplicate this cart here, and that's uh, I'm going to make the handles uh, seven inches by uh, inch and a half. All right, I'm going to throw you up on the tripod here, okay? All right, hold on. All right, when I buy lumber, I try to get it without knots and everything. And if I do have knots, like this one right here. I don't know if you can see that knot. I think I just lost my tip. Now I still got it. Uh, when I make the handle, I'll be able to cut that right out. So we said we wanted the uh, inch and a half, right? That's right there. Inch and a half. All right. So now we just uh, put our line down here, seven inches. Line down here, about seven inches. Seven there. Try to get in the way. Seven there. Alright. And for a radius, just grab a, a cup here. Anything round, it don't matter. And I like the a wide, wide radius up top. It gets rid of your knot. And I'll get a small radius on the bottom here. And that's it. And you need a jigsaw. 
ですね彼らや彼らや Alright This ain't the most aggressive blade but it's thin and it'll make this uh, turn pretty uh, pretty easy You don't even have to stay close on the line, you know, just uh, use it as a guide. Alright, one down, three to go. Alright, now I'm going to hit these edges I just cut with the 80 grit, the DA, just to knock the edge off, because this, this is uh, decking. I think they call it the uh, five quarter. It's like an inch thick, but it has round edges on it, that's what I like about it. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do now, I'm going to round the edges. Uh, I moved you over here to the place so I can uh, get both sides of this thing. Yeah, nothing pretty, just uh, it's crude. <laughs> just knock the edge off, that's all. Some of you guys want to make it pretty, but uh, I'm not. All we need is knock the edge off. Okay, the deck I sand a little differently. The deck I'm gonna, I just take the, I, I knock the corners off with sandpaper, but I did all by hand because uh, that you want it to look nice. And I guess I gotta go in the shed and try and find a uh, piece of plywood for the bottom. Right now it's uh, just sitting here. It's not the uh, nailed or glued or anything. So, all right, let me find a bottom and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sand these. That may take me. Uh, Half hour, 45 minutes to sand them by hand. Alright. Alright. Got our bottom all cut up and uh, I got it in here. I just glued it up. And uh, we got our center line there going all the way up over. Same with this. Got our center line on this thing. So, what we're going to do now is uh, just line this all up and uh, shoot it with nails. I got my nail gun around here somewhere. Oh, there it is up here. You just shoot in with that. I've never had one of these come apart before in my life, so it's uh, it's gonna be pretty stable. Even on the the big guy back there, you know that thing uh, never budge. All right, let me uh, nail this in and square it up. All right, we got this all uh, glued and nailed together, and uh, I guess we'll let it set overnight, and then uh, tomorrow we'll throw some. Uh, maybe three or four coats of urethane on it and we'll be good we can start mounting stuff up and while that's uh, drying and stuff maybe I'll, I'll clean this place up a little as bench and uh, finish up with this uh, radiator I just have to uh, fix that plug on top and that's good to go plus I, I want it's a shame you see how nice and straight all these ribs are on the inside and the outside looks like hell so I'm going to try and straighten some of that up Alright, I think it's, uh, we've got enough here, it's good enough for a video, so, uh, what do you say, enough of this? Alright.